you can worship him for the great things he has done Lord you great you deserve all the praise and deserve to be exalted for the great and mighty things that you've done in our lives you've not left us the same there is a way you've met each one of us and fought our battles you deserve all the praise you deserve to be exalted for your great mercies that you've shown us the love and mercy. Your great power that has been revealed in our lives. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, King of Kings. I thank you for this great day. 
for the great and mighty things you've done in our lives. You've delivered us in so many things and saved us from many things. Even others are not revealed in our minds. There are those that have escaped poisoning. There are those that have escaped from accidents. And the power of witchcraft. But it has been your hand that has saved us. We bring back the glory to you for the great goodness that we can speak with once. Even in this time as we are in your presence. It's my prayer that your word will go deep down in our hearts. It's my pray prayer that your precious anointing. Holy Spirit, I desire a new anointing. To bring your word deep down into the hearts of people. Father, speak to your people. Guide and build us, Almighty God. Let the one that is in hunger be Let the thirst be quenched. Let the sick be healed. And let those that are crippled be revived in the power of the Holy Spirit. Do all that through your words. Speak to someone in a special way. Beyond my words. Into your presence we commit ourselves. We honor this time. And we believe we are going to continue your goodness in the land of the living. We are not going to remain the same. We are going to move from one level to another. Let there be spiritual blocks that are built upon our spiritual lives. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we believe. Amen. Let me request the children to come up front and we pray for you as before you go to your church. The children, if you have a child near you, let them come. Do you see the goodness and greatness of God? How he can hide mighty people among the children. Because we are having before us great engineers. Wonderful and anointed pastors. Can you see the lawyers in our midst? Great politicians. God hides mighty people in the children. We are going to pray for them. That the will of God will be done in their lives. And that the hand of the evil one will not do them any harm. I request you to raise up your hand towards them. And you pray hard from deep down your heart. Heavenly Father and Almighty God. We thank you for this great army that is before you. You knew them even before they went into their mother's wombs. And you brought them for a great purpose that they have to do on the heart. No one came for fun. And that's why we pray for long life. That they will be able to fulfill your purpose of bringing them on this world. We refuse all power of disease. All power of death from playing with their lives. Any power, any 
power that brings confusion in the children. We refuse all such power and we send it away in Jesus' We pray for heavenly wisdom and a spiritual hedge of fire around them that will surround wherever they are going to be that no evil will come to them that they will do what they are supposed to do on earth thank you so much Lord in Christ Jesus we thank you Amen Amen uh, they can be taken to their church Mbalam Samuel na abalunji abali wano mulinye disinga manyeri ya Yesu. I greet you all in the great name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Msumba wafe, omulunji, mkula Musa mulinye disinga manyeri ya Yesu. Our beloved pastor, I greet you in the name above every name of Jesus. Hira mungeri ye nja ulo. And in a special way. Nyaniriza mama wafe omulunji, mama Esther Fever Senfuma. I welcome our mommy, Esther Fever Senfuma. There are many ministers seated here. I welcome you. Mr. Wanyama, I welcome you. Mr. Karugaba. Mr. Karugaba. And my own brother. Enos. Enos. I welcome all of you. And my young brother, I'm so happy to see you in Jesus' name. Praise be to the name of the Lord. You can also congratulate yourself for coming, please. Praise be to our Lord. We are going to share by the way and I welcome in a special way your your song. Song. Joy, please stand up and we welcome you Where is Joy? I, I, I share refreshing seems okay. she's still refreshing herself but praise be to our Lord. Our theme Christ in you, Christ in me. Yes, Ali Mugwe, yes, Ali Monze. Christ in you, Christ in me. Christo, Ali Mugwe, Christ Ali Monze. Sagala Kosa Chigamo, Christ in us. I, I don't want, want to use Chimbama, Christ in you, Christ in me. Christo Ali Mugwe, Christ Ali Monze. Sagala Gaman to Christo Ali Mufe. Akubanga, if you are yes, we do personal basis. Because the things of Jesus are on a personal basis. It is individual, not for congregation. I accept you as my personal savior. And when we are repenting of our sins, when giving our lives to Christ, we say, I repent of my own sins, not as a clan. Don't say our Jesus, say my Jesus. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Let's read our first scripture. In Revelation chapter 3. Verse 10. 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 And the word so siri kuchenetaga, noto manyanti olimu na kuasasirwa. Hero mwavu, hero mzibu wa masu, hero libuerele. Mkuele za amakezi, okugula jendi, ezabu, eyalongo osebu wa mumuliro, uruli okoga gawale. Nengo yenjeru, 
Olioko yambale elenso nizo buwelelebo zeme okulabika. Nenda galeri okusiga kumaso olioko labe. Nzebo na benja gala amba nenya. Era amba buu didida. Kale nyikida wenenye. Olunyiri wafiri tisingo kwa gala. Laba nyimi lide kuluji nea njula. Umuntu ye nabu wa ulio dobo ziri ange. Nagula oluji. Na ingira jari, era na alira wamu na ye, na ye, na anke. Oru nyiru lisemba yo, laba nyimi lide kuruji, nga nea anjula, umuntu ye na wawulie dobo ziri ange na gula o, oruji, na ingira jari, era na alira wamu na ye, na ye wamu na anke. Chani kwa cha fecho kuri, befese sula satu. Our other scripture is from Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 14. Chapter 3 verse 14. Chapter Mwerenga ni mirandi la mwenyeze wenga mkwagala. Mwriuke mwevu amanyi, okukua tangana mageza wamu na abatu kufubona. Obugazi nobu wamvu, nobu gulumivu, no kugenda wansi wevidi. No kutegeru kwa gala kwa kulisto kusingo kutegerua. Mwriuke mtu ukitirenga, okutusu okutukirua kona, okwa katonda. Pati chijen singo kwa gala o. Nti kulista atulenga mumitima jamwe, uluoko kiliza. We all know very well as brethren that when someone gets born again, he has welcomed Christ into his heart. Every born again must have Jesus in your heart. And that's what makes us unique. Christo mufe. Christ in us. Kuvange nsi teyeta aga magezi gabo ntu. Because the world does not need human wisdom. Ngeche nkomere de mkutere zebi zibu biayo. As the final thing in putting right its problems. Senga chari wechi tu yesu teyandi ze kuvanga basokolati zibali ba msokao abagezi. If it was like that, Jesus would not have come because there are many wise men like Socrates that were here before. But they were not an answer to the problems and the need in the world. And Christ came as the final answer. And when you repented of your sins, you invited him to enter into your life. It makes you unique. That even when the demons look, they don't tremble because of the clan from which you come, but because of the Jesus that is in you. But there is a puzzle that happened. Something to learn from in the church of Laodicea. It was a church that was so proud. And Jesus came and had some words to say to them. That you church you say I'm rich. This church must have been rich because at the time when someone speaks out that I'm rich, then you must be really rich. But when Jesus was addressing this church, he said, You say I'm so rich, I don't need anything. And you do not know that you're rich and poor that walks naked. And you're also blind. Those were Jesus' words to the church in the That I give you counsel. 
to buy from me gold that has been refined in fire that you may be rich. That you also get garment from me and cover the shame of your nakedness. That you also get salve to put on your eyes. And in verse 19, it says, All those that I love, I read. But he gave them a scripture that can disturb the mind. Sometimes we quote it to the people that we preach to in the world. But you can see that Jesus was giving it to the church. That see, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. Abuganda, tichiwe unisa, Christa subiru kubanti yali muchachi munda. Atibu agamba, abanga gandi wanondi mubutichi, wabweru wekanisa, mkonko na. What we are they possessing inside the church? Isn't that amazing? For a person we expect to be inside the church, to be outside in the cold, saying, I'm here knocking. Do you understand? Christ has to be able to get out of the way. He has to be able to get out of the way. He has to be able to get out of the way. We expected Christ to be inside the church. But here he comes, he says, I'm outside knocking. When did he go out? And for what reason did he go out? Do you think this church already knew that Christ was out? But Jesus speaks and says, Jesus is very gentle. I'm knocking at the door of your heart. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in. And another scripture that we've read from the book of Ephesians. He says, for this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with your power, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Meaning when they were weak in the spirit. When they were weak in their inner man. They lost something. And at the end Jesus made a prayer. That's why I bow my knees. Before the father from whom every family in heaven and earth is named. That through him you may be strengthened in your inner man. So that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith. And that's why I ask a question. Are you really sure that he is in your heart? Or is out of your heart and knocking at the door, asking, requesting that he may come into your life. Do you know that in church there are some people? When they don't remember any one day that they've ever called Jesus to enter into their life. He just enjoyed and he came into church and parked. But when he does not remember any day that he has ever invited Christ to enter into his life.
Di Yesu lwava mu bulamu bwaffe. When does Jesus get out of our lives? Bichi ebiyinzo mu mugobamu. What can make him go out? Omuntu bwakalira mu kigambo kya katonda. When someone becomes empty in the word of God. Krista atula wali kigambo chi. Christ dwells where his word is. Era kya vaga mu Yohana 15 musamvu. And that's why he says in John 15, munze, ne chikambo change, ne that if you abide in me and my word also abides in you, munze, when you abide in me change, ne and the word of God also dwells in you, because of the troubles of this world, when we get empty in the world, and there is no word in our hearts. Because of what we seek for and what takes our time. Christ gets out and leaves our hearts. And in Colossians 3.16 it says, Let Christ dwell in your hearts richly. Nti echigambo cha Kristo sorry Echigambo cha Kristo chiberenga mumwe no bugagga mu magezi gonna nga muyigiriziganyanga eranga mula bulagana nga mwekana mweka mu zabuli ne nnyimba ne biyi ebyomoyo nga muyimbiranga katonda mu kisa mu mitima ja mwe that let the word of Christ dwell in you richly teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Whenever you're careless about the word, it is so dangerous, Christ runs away. When Petro is opened, it evaporates just like water does. Even being careless about letting the word dwell in our hearts can make Christ to run out of us. Another thing that can cause Jesus to go out of our lives is to get familiar with the sin. And sin starts to reign in our hearts. Christ is holy, he cannot dwell in a heart that has sin. When the heart embraces sin, and it is overcome by sin, Christ gets out of such a heart. He gets out of the heart and requests from the outside that if anyone opens for him, I will come into his heart. He says, let us be holy just as he is. Our spiritual lives are attacked by many things. But God, in his grace, again. He put a way for us to get right by always repenting such that we can walk with him every day. A righteous person can also fail and do things that are not good. But there's no sin that has greater power than the blood of Jesus. And God does not look at us in that way. He does not look at us the way we were yesterday. A crook of yesterday can be the righteous one of today. Even the way God chooses is different. Even the way God chooses isn't it a miracle for you to choose a murderer, Paul, that was a murderer, and the following day you turn him into a righteous one? And yet you've gotten him ready-handed when he's going to murder. But when your choice is upon his life, praise be to the name of the Lord. When we cling on sin, 
It forces Jesus out of our lives. Sin can reign in someone's heart. Praise be to our Lord. But when we repent and ask for his help, deliverance always comes. Our God is full of mercy. We have people in our midst when you are struggling with something. When it sent Jesus out of your heart. But I want to tell you, don't be discouraged. Some things took time to drive you into captivity. Likewise, the deliverance may not be in one day. But the fact that you're tired in whatever ungodly situations you've walked in is the fact that tomorrow will be glorious. Your captivity didn't come in one day. Your captivity didn't come in one day. And so your deliverance may not be in one day, but the one that began a work in you will finish it. So don't be discouraged. And you think for me I've failed. And you think that's how I'm going to live forever. The way you're fed up, if you walk with him like that, a time is going to come when whatever evil that was reigning in your heart is now destroyed. When does Jesus run out of our hearts? When we set idols in our hearts. When we set idols in our hearts. Brethren, all things that look like profit in the world, if you are not careful, they walk a journey through your soul and come and dwell in someone's heart. And whenever everything from the world gets a place in your heart and dwells there, it becomes an idol. Christ is very gentle. Christ is gentle. He does not fight for the throne. You can set an idol in your heart. In Ezekiel 14.3, he says, This is what he says. Ezekiel 14. From verse 3. Ezekiel 14:3 Son of man these men have taken their idols into their hearts and set the stumbling block of their iniquity before their faces Holy day they set idols in their hearts and they end up setting stumbling blocks before them. Some of the things that fail you to get where you're supposed to get and to tarry fighting in one place are the idols that you allowed to come into your stumbling block or bankonge mumasogo at your tsura kuitako. They end up being stumbling blocks in your life that you cannot go over. Ebifana nyi bija bitya mbla mwa fe. How do the idols come into our lives? When we contemplate over a matter too much. Betulo oleza kuchin tu ne tu chiruako ne tchimalako wudenga chivi. We end up gazing. And gaping. Praise be to the Lord. 
when you focus on to something for long, let me speak about it myself. Because I when I focus on something for long, you over contemplate. When you over contemplate, you end up on gazing. Hence, <laughs> gaping. No malizango wambidwa. Amen. 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 Not all things capture us because they are so good, but over contemplating. Praise be to the Lord. Proximity. And you come so close to something. Do you think those drugs are so good? It becomes an addiction. But when someone gives a drug all the time, all the time, Do you think cigarettes are so sweet? It turns into an addiction. When an you idol. just started cigarette smoking, it begins by making you cough and cough and cough, but when you continue doing it, it becomes an idol. Do you think when people are drinking, those concentrated alcoholic so it drinks, is not sweet. they even close their eyes. No attention. an addiction. When you focus on something and you hold on to it, it ends up becoming a stronghold that requires a strong force to put it out of your life. So, attention. So, don't give everything all your attention. Many things enter our lives and they become idols in us. Yes, That's why Jesus says in Matthew 10 and verse 37. That if someone loves his parents more than me, then he's not worth it to be afraid. If someone loves their son or daughter more than me, then he's not worth it to be mine. And if someone loves his life more than me, then he's not worth it to be mine. Why? Whatever you love so much becomes your Answer. And where a man's wealth is, there his heart will be. So, so whatever you set before you as your it ends up attracting your heart. And if Christ is your precious thing. Because you've set him as your treasure. It means there will be a strong bond like super glue between you and Jesus because you have made him your treasure. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Let us take up our Christ. Instead of consuming the world into our hearts, let's consume our Lord. Over contemplating over the Lord. Over contemplating about the Lord when all your time, most of your time is done contemplating about the Lord. There are some people that are annoying. For example, the Indians. The attention they give to their Chikatonde Chitono, Lord Klesna. Engerijebewayo to their idol. Baba na kabumba ko omuntu na vera no bude babu ita shadina ngana ye kutunuli la chibumbe mukukuwa yobuongo mushaduna zabe bagamba webati genda lubera kuchokole Lord Klesna 
Osobolo kulaba mubuongo wo ngo muta kula kaviri. Osobolo kulaba ngo tere zolo kugiro lwe chambalo che. Tuala taime mala kulodi kilishi na kuchibumbeche. Mulabe ngo lina kutereza. Beda ngo linga msiga kapauda. Mubula mubu wabu wabu linaku. Bate kukubane time jeba mala attention ingeri kuchibumbe. So the chibumbe ends up entering deep in their hearts. There is such a long time that they spend before their idol doing every good thing to their idol spending all the time there and it ends up getting into their hearts. That's how our forefathers did. Only the things were spoiled. Bagamanga Kwigamba, nechi umulama oguaso kategwari mobi, senga bali tiba guziza nyomu fiziko. Nechi ali, look and contemplate upon the cross, the cross, meditate upon the cross, what transpired on the cross. Chichi ali umulama. Abat soka, batu nulida ngo musalaba, nebagu tunulida nyo, nebagu lowo zako, nebagu fumitri zako. Echivichiri inti, abamu ateba agu kola muguno, ogula bikako, Na yes, echigende rwa techari, eche chokolo gugula vika kona yo kloze nyo. Kumusala mkloza kusika. Kakati bukala ango. Just like you can go to bukala ango. Mmoto kayowe bukala ango mbera mwomu salaba. In a van, in a vehicle of anyone going to bukala ango, dolo is half a cross. Mmoto kayowe bukala ango mbera mwomu salaba. In a shop near there, you'll find a cross. Mimbie. Am I lying? Chiche baliko. Their purpose is that always you may look at the cross and look at it, contemplate about it such that it enters into one's life. We got trouble. We declare the trouble. Always take time. Make it a point. Okubera, nti, ofoka singa kubiyo moyo, ofoka singa kukristo. Kukristo changu na abera ngali mubu ongo buo. Nga mumutima guo talimu, kubanga mumutima guo, cho singo kuloza ako, anse no. Make a point to think about Christ all the time, such that Christ comes into you. But if you do otherwise, then think of Arsenal. It's Arsenal that will come into your heart. Because you're giving Arsenal more time to think about it. Business, no you And you give time to your business. Even those small things, confusing things on WhatsApp. And when we consider the time that you spend meditating upon Christ is not even 20 minutes. Never put attention on your riches. Never put attention on things that have done in the world. Think so much more about Jesus. Just like the Indian think about their Buddha. Do you see such things they build as the Baha'i temple? There is total silence. By the way, silence in silence. When they spend a lot of time in silence meditating upon their idols, they end up even working miracles because when you spend a lot of time doing so, even their inner man comes out and can bring change. Whenever the inner man comes out, he can bring change around someone. Tuine, but in the evil way. Tuine chirunji chetuta wabode. There is something so precious that we are not giving time. You can smear Christ as Vaseline in your mind. What you think about always, what you contemplate about, what you gaze upon, which 
end up bringing gaping. Echo, no beranga, osolo kubera ne yesu wotio, banange no mtu nolida, no mulaba mchisache, no mulaba mumukwanogwe, no mulaba mbloko zibwe, no mulaba mbele zenja ulo, nga otuwa lobu dobu mala ne yesu. Obwa mwabwa babidi. Kristo, avaku kristo obu ongo, avaku kristo obu debuli, na ingira na afugira mumotimago. When you spend all your time focused on Jesus, meditating upon Jesus, it reaches a point where Jesus comes and dwells into your heart and reigns in your heart. If you want Jesus to remain in your life, make sure that you retain him on his right status. Kakasa ntio musigaza mchifoche mbukuluwe obutufu. Mwamanyi Christo is gentle talwana. Christ is gentle, he does not fight. Chango kubera na yenga neiba uo. It's possible to have him but as a neighbor. Chango kubera na yenga social kwigamba friend, college. It is possible to have him as a colleague, a friend. Na yenga status ya yesu entufu. But when the right status of Jesus. Kabaka waba kabaka. He's the king of kings. The Lord of us. The savior. Katibobo no nya neiba. So if you are looking for neighbor, no nya yomu nobe mwasomo karuera. Na ye yesu, muleke mchifoche, echokuera kabaka waba kabaka era mukama waba kama. Leave Jesus in his right position as King of Kings, Lord of Lords. But if you are looking for a friend, get someone that you came with from the village. If you want a partner to socialize with, then you go to the Rotary Club. But if you are going to be with Jesus, be ready to make him King of Kings. Lord of Lords in your life and make Christo him your savior. Whenever Christ comes, he would come in his status. When he comes at a wedding, he does not come as a mere celebrant. He comes he comes as a king of kings that can turn water into wine. Even when he comes don't, at a burial, don't regard him as a pheromony. That he comes and you say pheromonas, we've lost someone that we cannot replace. That's not what brings Jesus. So you've lost someone that cannot be replaced. When he comes, he's king. He has the remote of life in his hands. And these words are always. Mark Zukiza. He comes to resurrect. When he comes at a function, he comes to the dead son of the widow in nine and says, Please rise up. So when he comes at whatever function, he wants and he deserves to retain his status. As a king. As a king. Even in your life, he wants to reign. There are things he has to change. Where there are trees that are not bearing fruit, he wants them dry. Even, Even if you are looking for a Even in your life, there are many things that he wants to put right. Only allow him to dwell in his status as king of kings in your life. There is a story that I heard of from Rekhan Bonki. These days, it is so much on social media. Of someone that invited Jesus. 
into his ten room house. Namgamba Yesu Kumanya kwa galawaluwa baba de banji ganya na yen kwa de rumu namba kuchizimbe chiange. And he said, there are people that have been persecuting me, but Jesus, I give you a whole room in my house. And without long, the enemies came. And they beat him up. And the room where Jesus was is where they didn't get. And he came and complained to Jesus that you are hard people. How can I welcome you into my house to protect me and you leave the enemies to come and beat me up? And Jesus said, you placed me in the upper room and I've kept it well, I've been there. And then he said, I give you now all five rooms, they belong to you. And it, it didn't take long, the enemies came and they beat him up badly and only those five rooms he gave to Jesus is where the enemy didn't go. And he came. And he came. So he ended up giving him responsibility over his whole house. And so the enemy came back that he was coming to beat again. And that's the devil. This time, Jesus was able to beat up. Why? He had been made Lord and King of Kings over everything. Praise be to the name of the Lord. If you're going to invite Jesus to come back in his position of rest in your heart, let him take the throne. Don't invite him as a neighbor. He does not want familiarity. He's a king of kings and lord of lords. If he's Lord, then take him as Lord. Lord. Just like we have landlords. Praise be to God. We call them our landlords. When the landlord says, you don't spoil my walls by nailing everywhere, we obey. When the landlord says, you cannot roast meat always every day at my place, we obey. Nandi Rodi, Bwagamanti wanonze sagalo bagenyi baba abana, era tukukuta na bubu kukusi. When he says, I don't want groups of visitors, we obey. Because the landlord says when you have Jesus as your Lord in your heart let him reign such that there are certain things you will not do because your Lord does not like them. If you're going to walk with him, let him remain in his position that will reign over the way you dress, to reign over the way you bring up your children, reign over how you spend your money, Brethren, whatever we have belongs to our Lord. We are just stewards of what the Lord has given us. We don't have to use everything the way we want. 
but we have to use the way our Lord wants it to be. Sometimes he can say, do something to another person when you wouldn't like to do the same, but that's what he wants. If you're going to work with Jesus, heart, let him remain in his status. When he says you are not supposed to be in that marriage in which you are, you don't refuse. Praise be to the Lord. Jesus can come and say, don't you see that you came second? There is a first wife. Even if you have had children with this person, you are number two. Please Christo, leave. Christo, neighbor. If Christ is not a neighbor but the Lord over your life, you will obey and do that. You come along with a young man. I got one that drives. Comes from a good family and is good to show among people. Lord in Agamba. And the Lord says, Darkness cannot come together with light. Don't go with that one. Better to go with the poor one in the church when he has the right spiritual life. If he's the Lord of your life, you will obey. But if you refuse, you go on your own. You get there and after two weeks they bring number two. Because those are the principles of the person you have taken. Because he comes and vomits in the bed on the third day because that's what you love. He comes another day and says, for my things to work out, we have to do witchcraft in the house. Those are the people that use their own human standards, use their own wisdom to do what they want to do, and they live what God wants them. I end up saying, our Lord Jesus says, why do you call me your Lord when you don't do what I tell you? In Why do you call me your Lord when you don't do what I tell you? If you're going to call him your Lord, then train yourself to do according to his guidance. And our Lord says in Matthew 7, 21, that not everyone that calls me Lord, Lord, but only that one that do, does what the Lord, did, my Father in heaven says. And still our Lord says, in Matthew 13, 30, let them grow together. If he's coming to church and they fellowship together with you, let them be there. But at the day, we shall pick out those that are right. Do all the folly, but the Bible says, in 2 Timothy 2.19, that the foundation of the Lord the foundation of the Lord is strong. God knows his own. Hey, the foundation of the Lord remains strong that God knows his own. So even if you come and fellowship together with others, God knows his own. Psalms 50 and verse 21. When I kept quiet, <laughs> You thought we are equal. When I kept quiet, you thought that we are equal. There is some familiarity we can do to him. And we walk in our way of life when we don't recognize him as our Lord. 
But he says in verse 21 of Psalms 50, that the things you have done and have been silent, and you thought that I was one like yourself, but I'll rebuke you and let the charge before you. When I kept quiet, you thought we are equal. When they call you on phone, and you saw on phone in 20 minutes, I will be there, but when you are far away in Ibarara, you did all that. And I kept silent, and you thought we are equal. They call you when you are in church. And someone says, assure me if you are coming. I'm coming. Please calm down. This one that is preaching is the one that is taking too long. But immediately the preacher is done. Just committing. Just a small meeting to get to know which uniform we are going to use the following Sunday. And I will come. He says you no need to and you thought we were equal. We do lie so much on phone. I've not been able to come home today. The car that we used that one you call your wife and tell her that the vehicles again failed me on the way and you have ended up in a garage I cannot come back but, but the Lord keeps silent and says I'm silent and you think we are equal even women so easy Today, I don't know the person I met on my way. Some sickness attacked me. I started crying and saying, Lord, she says, I've ended up in a clinic and I'm going to spend the night there. But we are somewhere else. The Lord has been the Lord says, you did all that and I was silent and you thought we are equal. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Not everyone that says, Lord, why do you call me your Lord? We are going to make a short prayer. There are times when it's required to invite Jesus afresh to come into your heart. When the fact is, he's out of your, out of his position. The good thing he continues to say, I stand at the door and knock. If someone opens the door, I will come and eat together with him. And also eats with me. And we have people that just yeah, began, there are people that just enjoyed our worship and they came, but you don't remember any particular day. When you ever told Jesus that be the Lord over my life. When you are just neighbors with your Jesus. Let's call upon him to come and dwell in our hearts as the king of kings such that you obey whatever you want. Let's say this prayer. Ah, yes. Oh Jesus, today I've heard your voice. The fact is I'd gotten lost into the world and it fills my heart. When the idols have filled my heart and I've become a stumbling block, but I call upon you, Jesus, come back to your position. Enter again in my heart 
and you reign. This time I invite you as Lord. And I will come as a king. Reign in my heart. And today. I confess without any shame without being compelled that you are my Lord and you are my King. I confess today that I am born again in the name of Jesus and I will not be ashamed to tell people that Jesus saved me. Thank you, Lord. Because you've come into my heart. Let me walk with you as my Lord and as my King. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you.